Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. The Audi TT is well deserving of its legend status. When it arrived as a 1999 model, 2000 for the US, the Bauhaus-inspired TT was little more than a Volkswagen Golf in spiffy duds, yet it became one of the most popular sporty coupes of its time thanks to its gorgeous, avant-garde styling. And before long, genuine performance became part of the TT story. That first generation spawned two pretty hot trim levels. In 2003, Audi added a 3.2-liter VR6 to the stable, made it exclusively to a then-revolutionary dual-clutch DSG transmission. Then, in 2005, the not-for-US TT Quattro Sport arrived, wearing the aggressive bodywork of the Quattro 3. 2 but with a hot-up, 240-horsepower version of the regular car's 1.8-liter turbo 4. The second-generation Audi TT RS went even harder when it arrived in 2009, with a throwback turbocharged 2.5-liter inline-5 making 350 horsepower under its curvaceous hood. A six-speed manual was available, as was a seven-speed DSG. After 25 years on the market, the Audi TT will head off into the sunset after 2023, at least before it returns as an EV if the rumors are true. But at least the four rings will send it off with a bang thanks to the 2023 TT RS Iconic Edition. Confined to Europe, the Iconic Edition also gets a 2. 5-liter five 5-pot, five but it makes 395 horsepower and comes exclusively with a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. That brings us to the subject of the latest CarWow drag race, all four vehicles mentioned above. Matt Watson and his team of Merry Misfits are helming this who's who of tourist trophy coupes, although it really promises to be two different drag races happening concurrently. The 240 horsepower Quattro Sport and 250 horsepower 3. Two Quattro are fairly evenly matched, with the VR6 powered car weighing more but benefiting from nearly instantaneous dual clutch upshifts. Meanwhile, the second generation, 6 speed TT RS is less powerful than its third generation successor, but again, there's less power on board. In addition to a standing quarter mile drag race, the CarWow team also subjected the Audis to a 25 mile per hour rolling half mile and a 50 miles per hour rolling half mile, as well as a hard stop from 100 miles per hour. We won't spoil the ending, but your author was surprised by some of the race's results, particularly involving the least powerful vehicles in the group. Have a watch and then let us know in the comments which Audi TT you'd most like to take home. That first-gen styling is looking more and more tempting every day. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to Motor1.com please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.